So we just went through the top NFL news and rumors as well as my top five players from preseason yesterday. We still have some games to go through, but let's first go through Cam Rogers' predictions from week one of preseason. The odds were given to us by Bet the SI. Again, head to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code NFL120 or Cowboys120 in order to get 120% on your cash bonus today. So let's go through Cam's predictions from preseason week one. Panthers versus Bills, he took Bills minus two and a half. Bears versus Bengals, he ended up taking the Bears plus two and a half, Bucks plus one and a half, and the Browns at plus two. Cam ended up going two and two on these games. The Bills ended up losing, so obviously he didn't win that one. The Bears also ended up losing. They ended up losing by three. The Bucks uh, won by one and a half, so there's his win. And then the Browns won by ten. So two and two on Cam's record for his first slate of games. Next one, though, yeah, not nearly as good. Cam went 0 for 4 on one of his slides here. So Titans versus the Packers. He ended up taking the Titans. Packers ended up winning that game. Texans versus the Chiefs. Chiefs favored at minus two and a half. Texans ended up winning by seven, lost that one. Cowboys versus 49ers. The 49ers did end up winning. However, they only won by three points. So Cam still does lose because he took the line at three and a half. And then the Seahawks uh, were minus three. He took them. They ended up losing to the Colts on a wild, wild last second fumble. They lost 19 to 17. So Cam ends up going 0 for 4 on one of his slates of games. And then the last slate of games we have for you guys here, Panthers versus the Bills. He took the Bills at minus two and a half. Lost that one because the Panthers won. Bears versus the Bengals. Bengals uh, ended up winning that game plus two and a half. Bucks Dolphins uh, plus one and a half. The Bucks ended up winning that game by two. And then the Browns versus the Giants. Brown plus two, the Cam record at two and two on this one. So uh, not the best week of gambling for Cam Rogers. Ended up going four and eight on his initial selections. I'm going to have much better luck because no offense to Cam, I'm a way better gambler than Cam is. He can stick to fantasy golf. I got NFL all day. So we got Falcons, Jets, minus two and a half. Lions, Raiders, minus three. The Vikings and the Broncos are a pick em. And then the Chargers versus the Cardinals are minus two and a half. So let's go through my predictions overall. I'm going to take the Falcons at minus two and a half. I understand that Sam Darnold is going to come in and make an impact on this game most likely. However, I think the Falcons are going to end up winning this game. I think they just have more talent on their team. Remember, this is all about depth, people. This is all about the amount of depth that you have on their team. And the Falcons are one of the deepest rosters in all of football. Next game we got for you guys, Lions or Raiders. I'm taking the Lions at plus two and a half. I think that their depth is going to end up taking over uh, the Oakland Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to throw out a lot of really bad players on defense. They do not have a deep defensive unit right now, but the Lions have a lot of really young, talented players, especially on that defensive line. I think they'll end up making an impact. Our next game, Vikings versus the Broncos. It's a pick em. It's case. It's the Case Keenum preseason ball. Uh, we're going to see, uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit of Kirk Cousins and Case Keenum. Though I think the Vikings are going to end up taking this one. Again, a team that I just think is overall better than the Denver Broncos. I know that it doesn't really matter who is or isn't better because it's preseason. But I just think the Vikings are going to end up taking this one. Then we have the Chargers versus the Cardinals. This one's interesting because we're going to see Josh Rosen for the first time in an NFL uniform. I'm still taking the Chargers at plus two and a half. I think they're going to end up taking this one quite easily. I think they'll win by double digits. So those are my four picks going in for this weekend. You got the answer key for you guys. Head to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code NFL120 when you sign up to get a 120% cash bonus up to six hundred dollars in free money people you could lose all four of these games and it wouldn't matter because you still have enough money to continue to bet on games so use that promo code today nfl120 at chatsports.com slash bet and a reminder if you do sign up and you send us a screenshot at chat sports on twitter or instagram we will bring up your screenshot and give you a shout out live on air on one of our shows. So remember to use BetDSI for all your betting needs this NFL season. All right, let's hear what you guys have to think with a lot of these games. Let's start with the Falcons or the Jets. The Falcons are favored by two and a half. Give me an F for Falcons or give me a J for the Jets. Now this is interesting. We will see Sam Darnold tonight. 
We will see the, uh, the backups for the Atlanta Falcons on defense as well. We'll see a lot of the rookies for the Jets. Maybe we'll see the first instances of Isaiah Crowell going on for the New York Jets in a Jets uniform. So I like what the Jets are bringing to the table with their young talent, but I think the Falcons are out for vengeance this year. I think the Falcons are really looking to make an impact on this NFL season. I think he's going to blow, or I think the Falcons are going to blow people out of the water this year. They're my pick to end up winning the NFC, and I think they're going to win the game tonight against the New York Jets. All right, let's continue to move on here. Lions or Raiders? Give me an L for Lions or give me an R for Raiders. The Raiders are favored in this one by, by two and a half. I'm going to take the Lions in this one. I like taking the underdog in these games. So, fun fact, if you took the underdog in every single game yesterday, you would have won in all games except for two. And that was the 40, well, you still would have won the 49ers game even though the underdog didn't win. Though technically, based off Vegas rules, they did win. And the Patriots were actually the only other team that ended up screwing people over. So, if you want to bet on some underdogs, the preseason is the time to do it. So, give me the Lions against the Oakland Raiders. All right, let's get to our next game here, the Vikings or the Broncos. Type B for the Vikings, type B for the Broncos. If you're wondering where the line is on these bad boys, there isn't one. It's a pick -em. So you guys have a choice, either the Vikings or the Broncos, to win this game. I'm taking the Vikings. I just think they have a better overall roster. Though I'm excited to see Bradley Chubb for the Denver Broncos out there in preseason. I want to see what he's going to excuse me, be able to bring to the table for the Denver Broncos. Let's go to our last game here. The Chargers taking on the Cardinals in Arizona. Cardinals are two and a half point favorites. We will see Josh Rosen tonight. We will see a couple of the nice young pieces for the San Diego, or San Diego, for the Los Angeles Chargers. Who am I? Madden 19. We're going to see some great pieces out there for the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers, a lot of their young pieces are going to be on display tonight. Give me the Chargers at plus two and a half. I think they'll end up winning by five or six points. I'm just a little bit worried about this Arizona Cardinals team. I think they'll be okay. I, I still think they're going to end up being, you know, a six and 10, seven and nine football team this year. They were eight and eight last year without David Johnson, but it remains to be seen how much talent they actually have overall on this roster.